everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to break down the Inside Out 2 trailer. The trailer begins with Riley in her green Foghorns hockey uniform about to start her game. There is then a purple flash moving the camera to Riley's mind where Joy is watching the hockey game. Riley's parents are at the game enthusiastically cheering on their daughter with matching team jerseys. Sadness is then seen pressing the console with her face waving a yay flag. Joy is fine with Sadness taking over the console in contrast with the first movie. Anger is the next emotion to contribute to Riley's hockey game, punching air as he walks to the console. He screams, let me at him, and pushes a lever while his head lights on fire. In response, Riley growls. Fear then reminds Riley to get in her mouth guard, which she does immediately. Disgust then interferes, telling Riley that she put in a mouth guard that wasn't hers. Riley spits out the mouth guard and Disgust flicks her hair back proudly. We then see Riley celebrating her 13th birthday with her parents that we have already seen in the first teaser trailer. After this, there is a shot of Riley at the orthodontist getting her braces fixed. One of her purple elastics pop out hitting the orthodontist. They say ow and Riley says sorry. Riley is then seen in her room about to go to bed. Her pyjamas and blanket are purple and there is a string of lights and glowing star stickers above her. One of the posters on the wall is of Four Town, the boy band from Turning Red. And beside it there is a postcard from Minnesota, Riley's first home. The room has several hockey references including a Hockey is Life poster, a hockey lamp and a certificate saying that she won a championship. On Riley's chest of drawers, there is a water bottle, a mug, some plates and cutlery, implying that Riley has been snacking before bed. Riley turns off the lamp and there is a close-up of her closing her eyes about to go to sleep. After this, we see Fear in headquarters holding a pen, saying that it should be nothing but smooth sailing from... Before Fear can finish his sentence, anxiety arrives. This is the exact same scene from the first teaser that I have already broken down. Envy then climbs onto the console, introducing herself. She is a short jade green emotion who looks like a little girl. Her cheeks have a cute pink blush and her darker hair is pulled back with two purple hair clips. She has on green shoes, purple tights and a mauve dress with cream dots and a pink collar. She is immediately jealous of Disgust's hair and reaches out to touch it. Disgust stops her saying, oh yeah, not happening. In the background, there is a glowing ball on a podium that wasn't there before, that must be connected to the new emotions. The console then begins to move all by itself, turning the signature purple colour of Ennui. Ennui is so lazy that she moves the console via her phone and doesn't bother to get up. Anxiety explains that the movement was caused by Ennui, who is then seen lying on a red sofa on her phone. She is a purple emotion with long hair and a fringe, and she is wearing a blue tracksuit and purple bed socks. She explains to Joy that Ennui means boredom in a French accent, which makes sense because her voice actor is French. Embarrassment's hand then slams down on the console, causing it to turn pink. Embarrassment is a large pink emotion with a massive nose, pink hair and pink eyes. They have on a light purple hoodie, purple pants and red and white sneakers. This shot helps us to see just how small Envy is, as Disgust is easily able to pick her up. It also indicates a potential close relationship between these two emotions. Sadness says, what's your name big fella? And Anxiety says, that's embarrassment. Joy then walks over to Embarrassment, welcoming him to headquarters. She goes to shake his hand, but Embarrassment starts to do a fist bump by mistake. The two emotions are unable to do the same greeting at the same time, but Joy eventually makes a high five happen. She comments that Embarrassment has a sweaty palm, causing him to hide his face with his hoodie and drop down to the floor in shame. Riley is then seen outside an ice arena with a ton of young hockey players outside. I think this could be Riley's first day of summer hockey camp. She is wearing a blue hoodie and has her hockey stick and bag with her. There is then a close-up of Riley picking up her bag travelling into the ice arena. And you can see that she is wearing a rainbow top underneath her hoodie. She is looking at her best friends Bree and Grace who also play hockey and look about Riley's age. 
Then Val catches Riley's eye. She looks about 18 and has a really cool red streak in her long black hair. After this, Anxiety is seen telling Joy, I plan for the future. Val then says to Riley, do you want to sit with us? Which reminds me of Mean Girls. All the emotions are watching this conversation except for Ennui, who is staring at her phone on the sofa. Envy, sitting on top of the console, is keen to take up Val's offer, saying these girls are so cool. However, Anxiety doesn't want Val to know that Riley is excited and is eager to take control of the situation. In this shot, Envy is on the ground, and she is so short that we can only see her eyes. The trailer then cuts back to Riley looking excited, while the emotions are trying to work out what she will say to Val. Joy is operating the console, crafting Riley's response, while Anxiety tries to take control instead. Joy pushes Anxiety away and says, thank you, not now. Joy makes Riley say, yeah, yeah, pointing weirdly at Val. Envy, Anxiety and Embarrassment look on in horror, and Embarrassment falls onto the console, causing Riley's cheeks to blush. Joy seems happy about Riley's response to Val, but Anxiety hated it, saying that's not going to haunt us for the rest of our lives at all. Riley then follows Val into a room with her bag. There is a whiteboard with hockey positions on the wall and some hockey sticks in the corner. Riley seems in complete awe of Val and the social currency that she offers as an older, more talented hockey star. Riley and her friends, Bree and Grace, are seen together on the ice. They are all wearing a Bay Area Skills Camp uniform. Riley is then seen by herself and hears Val saying, Hey Riley, beckoning her over to join her group of friends. Anxiety is controlling the console with the input from the three other new emotions. Anxiety says we need new friends or we'll be totally alone in high school and makes Riley decide to hang out with the cool older girls. Bree and Grace look extremely hurt by Riley's decision because they just agreed to work together. Riley looks back at her friends feeling guilty about her obviously wrong choice. Then Anxiety tells the original emotions that Riley's life requires more sophisticated emotions than all of you. She is holding an Anxiety memory orb which is coloured orange. It appears to be the conversation that Riley had with Val when she first arrived at hockey camp. The other emotions look very angry at Anxiety, except for Sadness, who looks more disappointed. Embarrassment then picks up all of the emotions to remove them from headquarters. Joy is horrified and says, you can't just bottle us up, and the five are then seen in a glass bottle. Fear holding a flashlight jumps up screaming, we are suppressed emotions, and they all panic. Disgust and anger bang on the glass, and Sadness starts hysterically crying. Anxiety has taken control of Riley's mind and is instructing mind workers via a screen. There are also multiple screens with Riley's memories clouded with anxiety. The mind workers are in cubicles made from playing cards connected by cords. They are making 2D drawings on tables that look identical to the ones used to create traditional animation at Disney. It looks like this particular mind worker has a coffee addiction, judging from the amount of cups on their table. Next, Anxiety is seen operating the console, touching a ton of buttons. Riley is then seen in her bedroom waking up, clearly not coping. Riley's mum then enters her room saying, you aren't packed yet? Looking at Riley's bag and hockey gear scattered on the floor. Her words imply that this is the morning Riley is heading off to hockey camp. Some cool things in Riley's room include a rainbow unicorn poster and some hockey trophies. Riley then screams dramatically, I'm the worst, and her mum looks shocked at her emotional outburst. Riley starts to cry before the camera goes inside the head of Riley's mum. Then mum's anger says the funniest line of the trailer. Well, that's preview of the next 10 years. You might notice that none of the new emotions are present in the mum's head, so something must happen to them once a person becomes an adult. The five original emotions are then seen together and Joy says come on and the others follow. I presume that this scene is just after they have escaped the bottle, judging from the dark setting. The trailer then takes us to a new location, Riley's sense of self. This formative land is made up of all of her beliefs, each of which can be heard with the pluck of a string. 
In this shot, you can see hundreds of these glowing strings. You can also see the memory orbs floating in a surrounding lake. In this next shot, Joy and Sadness are seen delivering a memory to Riley's sense of self, which is tinged with both Joy and Sadness. They are staring at the area in wonder, implying that they have never been there before. They seem to have arrived there via the pole behind them. After this, we see five guards travelling down a hallway seemingly on some sort of mission. I would presume that they are looking for some of the emotions. This hallway has vault-like doors and a mop and bucket in it. Next, Joy is seen holding the memory that she delivered to Riley's sense of self talking to Sadness saying, have I ever steered you wrong before? Sadness replies with many times. I presume that this conversation involves Joy convincing Sadness to come with her to Riley's sense of self. After this, we see a shot from the first teaser of anger exploding into flames during Riley's 13th birthday mind demolition. Then there is another shot of Riley's sense of self. Joy touches one of the strings, causing it to vibrate. We then see anger, fear, joy and disgust screaming while rushing down some sort of river in the long-term memory area. The next shot shows that the emotions are on some sort of leaf and everything is collapsing around them. There are many structures in long-term memory without any orbs, which doesn't seem like a good thing. Also, sadness is missing, so maybe anxiety wanted her back in headquarters. The final scene involves the four emotions discovering the sarcasm, with this mind worker informing them what it is. There is then an aerial shot of the sarcasm showing it's at the end of the river that the emotions were just in. Joy says to two mind workers, boy are we so lucky we ran into you guys in a friendly tone. However, the sarcasm makes her sound sarcastic, causing one of the mind workers to say, wow, those guys are jerks. This mind worker Fritz is played by Pixar legend John Ratzenberger. The two mind workers then leave the emotions in their crane, which I think is destroying long-term memory for some unknown reason. The final shot is of the four emotions looking despondent, while Anger says, wow, those guys are jerks. Anyway, that is all for today. Like this video if you liked it and please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Bye now and have a magical day.